Hello everyone, I'm Albert Bevio with Spain on a Fork. In today's episode, we're going to be making tortilla al horno. Now this recipe is very similar to the popular Spanish potato omelet, except it's made in the oven and it has a couple more ingredients. This appetizer has a great flavor and I'm going to show you an easy way to make it. So let's get started. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to grab a medium sized saucepan and we're going to put it on our burner. We'll add two Yukon Gold potatoes and enough water to cover the potatoes by at least one inch. We'll season it with some sea salt and turn our fire to a high heat. And once you come to a rolling boil, let's put a lid on top and lower our fire to a low medium heat. Okay, so while our potatoes are boiling, let's start to cut up all our vegetables. We'll begin by finely mincing two garlic. Next, we'll finely dice one onion. We'll finely dice one green bell pepper. And finally dice one red bell pepper. Okay, once we have all our vegetables cut up, let's go ahead and grab a non-stick frying pan, put it in our burner, and heat it to a medium heat. And let's add about three tablespoons of extra virgin Spanish olive oil to the pan. And once our oil gets hot, we'll season it with some sea salt, and we'll add our diced onions. And after cooking our onions for about five minutes, let's go ahead and add our two minced garlics to the pan. And about 30 seconds after adding the garlic, and you can already smell that garlic fragrance, let's go ahead and add our diced bell peppers to the pan. And let's mix it all together. Okay, it's been between 20 to 25 minutes since we put the lid on the potatoes, so let's go ahead and take it off. We'll put our potatoes on a strainer and we'll run some cold water on them. Okay, next let's grab five organic eggs, let's crack them and add them to a large bowl. And now let's beat the eggs. Okay, it's been about five to six minutes since we added our bell peppers to the pan and everything looks like it's perfectly cooked. So at this point, let's go ahead and turn off our fire and let this cool off to room temperature. Okay, next let's grab our boiled potatoes. Let's take off the skin and let's cut them in small pieces. Okay, now let's grab our cut potatoes and let's add them to the egg mixture. And now let's add our bell peppers and onions to the bowl with the potatoes and the eggs. Now we'll shred about 1 8 cup of queso manchego, throw in some freshly chopped chives, and a generous pinch of sea salt. And let's mix it all together. Now we'll grab a casserole dish that's 12 inches by 6 inches, add some parchment paper, and let's add our mixture inside. We'll smooth it out to evenly distribute everything. Okay, now let's add our casserole dish to the oven. I've had it preheating in the bake only option at 190 degrees Celsius, which is about 375 degrees Fahrenheit. And we're gonna leave this in the oven between 35 to 40 minutes. Okay, it's been about 38 minutes since we put the tortilla inside of the oven, so let's go check it out. And as you can see, the egg looks like it's fully cooked, so let's go ahead and take this out of the oven. And we'll put it in a flat surface, and we're going to leave this here to rest till it reaches room temperature. Okay, so it's been about 20 minutes since we took the tortilla out of the oven. At this point, let's go ahead and grab a cutting board, and let's put it on top of the casserole dish. And holding on to the casserole dish and the cutting board, let's go ahead and flip it. And we'll take off the casserole dish. Now we'll remove the parchment paper. And now we'll start cutting our tortilla. We're going to make squares that are one inch by one inch. Now you could serve this tortilla right out of the cutting board. I'm gonna go ahead and grab a couple squares and put them on a plate for presentation. We'll put a toothpick on each square, that way they're easier to grab. And we'll garnish the dish with some freshly chopped chives. And there's our final dish of una tortilla al horno. If you enjoyed today's video on making una tortilla al horno, please subscribe to my channel so you can receive all my future videos. Until the next time, hasta luego.